today, I wrap Steen of Linen Associates with your metals market wrap up. And this is for Wednesday, the 1st of July, 2020, about 6 p.m. Central Time. So we see gold is backed off. It got as high as into the 1807 area and a complete failure up there. Now, if you looked at the Bollinger Band, unfortunately, I thought it was gonna be 1810. This morning, it shoved itself down as the day kept going, came in closer to 1806, uh, and it hit it, unfortunately. And now the market's back down and regrouping, if you will. Silver got thrown back from the upper Bollinger Band. Copper just stays strong as can be, which I think is still great news for all the base metals. You go through these corrections from time to time. We saw a turnaround today in the euro, dollar index stable. Tonight we're down a bit in the energy markets, bonds and notes steady. And the news of the day, of course, centered around the Fed and their talk of the yield curve. The Fed didn't leak let the cat out of the bag. They're studying it. It's no longer, gee, we don't know what's going on. They're studying it. But what the Fed's saying is they have the markets back for a long time to come. And the economy, it needs the Fed back there, according to them. It has to stay accommodative. Well, when you look at the gold market, first uh, day of the month, but not the end. Remember, we're still in a week. And you're up six and a half dollars for the week. You've given up a lot of the gain of the week. We're up a lot more than that. We gave up about $20 of that now, but still a gain and still market well above the 1750, 630, the last high gain. When we look at the chart action, a couple of things. We had a big outside day down. So if we come back and we look at today, 1807.70 was the high. From there, the market broke through the prior low. Now it's an outside week, outside day down. When you have an outside day down, if you take out the high of that day, one of my theories is you go above it to the closest moving average and or the Bollinger Band, whichever is closer to the market. Keep that in the back of your mind. The pattern of the market, well, it's broken. You now have a higher high and a lower low. So the uptrend that had been in place with higher lows, higher highs, that actually began all the way back here, stalled out today. When you take a look at where support in the market, it's back at the 1756.60 area. If the market's gonna travel down to a key moving average and where it peaked out, well, 1807.70 was the high today. You hit the upper Bollinger Band. That's where, as it turns out, my guess is the pros took the money off the table. I know in my, uh, in my subscribers, my full research, I wanted the upper Bollinger Band. As it turns out, they missed it a little bit and feel bad about that. So now we have to wait and see if the market's going to rechallenge it. 1805.90 is where it looks. And tonight, you're losing the embedded reading. That's not good. Now, if you take a look on the close, you kept it. But just getting a reading today where the market is down 50 cents, you're losing it. You need an update tomorrow to keep it from being lost. The fact that it's lost when the market was even a bit higher today, tonight I'm talking about, is not a pretty sign. This is not an add-on area in any manner. It might be an area to come out and rethink your positions. In the gold-silver ratio, just hanging here now at the 18-day average of closes. So the market, while it had gotten over that, which favored the gold, it's pulled back and they're both about neutral. And when you look at the silver market, you see why. Yesterday, and I'm coming here, this is yesterday, was the first challenge where you got over the upper Bollinger Band. You know what I teach you. First challenge is normally where pros get out of the market and the market reverses back into the bands, that's what it's done. So was it a false breakout or not? I can't answer that. What I can tell you is you have a higher high, lower and low pattern and you're staying right within them. And the market has already worked off past tense. If the market stays just like this, it's no longer overbought. If I come back, it was overbought on the close today, but going into Thursday, not by, not too much though. I don't see anything to do right there. Copper just continues to stay strong as can be. And now, if we take a look, it takes three days to have the numbers of the slow stochastic over 80 to be embedded. You cannot count the day you're in until the end of the day, or very close to the last part of the trading where the settlement is. So you had both numbers over 80, both over 80 here, not the day before. We have to get through tomorrow to know if we're gonna have the embedded reading. The odds don't favor it. We'll see if it does it. Why doesn't it favor it? Because you've got two days in a row now over the upper Bollinger Band. In the Platinum, you're caught in the Bollingers. You're caught in the sideways action, the 18-day average of closes. Momentum is flat on you. I think that what we're gonna run into is 
Traders are gonna go, why do I wanna do anything tomorrow? They'll wait until we get through the 4th of July holiday and then take a fresh look at the market. Some markets tomorrow close early, so you wanna to talk to your broker as well. In the Palladium market, I told you we were gonna get a narrow pipe and we've developed it. That's called a pipe by me. It's when you get the Bollinger Bands keep narrowing in and just keep going sideways. You've got to think of that, that inside of it, it's a spring and it's winding up, prices the spring, and eventually it breaks out one way or the other. We'll see which way. Dollar index, well, the market came back down, momentum is turned down. Uh, you have a higher high, lower and low, stuck in this narrow, again, the Bollinger Band pipe. And can't help it when markets do that, the key is to recognize it. Now, as you know, I like to throw out specials every now and then on my charting course, and here it is. It's short. I'm taking this special off on July 5th. So between now and the 4th, if you wanted to buy my charting course, you're gonna learn everything that we do right here. And you're gonna get it at a special price of $99.95 versus the normal $179.95. And on the 5th, it's going back to $179.95. In it, you're gonna learn all that I do here. And I have a unique way of teaching. I start off with a PowerPoint, and then from there, you're gonna get into the videos. PowerPoint teaches you one step, the video shows you how to set this up on a chart, and then I explain it in a series of videos within there on swing lines, moving average, quite a bit. It's six hours of videos, so I don't want to give you the impression this is a one, two, three, and you've got it. It's a lot of work, a lot in there, and then how I teach is with it, I want you to look at my morning subscriber video. Why? Because while the chart data you're looking at is older data, you've got to teach off older data. You can't teach it today. Today, in the mornings, I review each of the steps you're learning, and that's what the morning videos do. They teach you why I'm recommending something, why I'm saying don't do something, where I'm wrong on a trade, where I'm right. You get to see them unfold in real time on a daily basis. That's what this is all about. So you get to see all this. Our daily, uh, the softwares include, we have two versions of software too. We have our LGP and then we have a web-based one called QT. So generally one of the two, if you've gotten, not had one, you'll get the other. A lot of you have tried both of our products from there. As I said, the price on the course, well, it's $99.95, it is down from the $179.95. It's only for this, by the way, it's only good through July 5th and after, it's actually July 4th, the morning of the 5th, we're taking it down. So I want you to be aware of that, all right? How do you get it? Go to our website, www.irapstein.com under the word education, it'll take you right there. I'm Ira, you have a great day.